Greetings, unsettled souls. This is the dumb D of the day. It's only the dumb D of the day if it's true. Um, the idea is that Jezeline Maxwell, the wonderful uh, person who is accused of supplying uh, people for Jeffrey Epstein to abuse, is in jail. Supposedly, she can't flush her toilet. Other people say she won't flush her toilet. She says she isn't allowed to talk to people who would be of assistance to her legally. Other people are saying she has full ability to talk to whoever she runs to, whenever she needs to. The one thing you would think that she, oh, I'm going to just guess here. The one thing you wouldn't want to do is draw unnecessary attention to yourself. It's kind of like uh, when he just died. What's his name? The guy with the wall of sound. He kept wearing, uh, I forget his name, it's on the tip of my tongue. He kept wearing a different wig every day and looking like he was ready to go on stage or like he was posing for pictures and things after being accused of killing a woman. Showing up in wigs and looking like it was some kind of a game. Uh, it, the court did not look fondly on that. You try to avoid, and as a general rule, and I may not be the, the, the sharpest tool in the shed, but you do tend to try to avoid things like that, particularly when your name is attached to arguably the most famous child molester thing since Caligula. You, you might want to go ahead and try and avoid that if, if you could, but uh, according to the Daily Beast, the dumb of the day, well, Giselaine Maxwell barricaded herself in prison conference room, according to prosecutors. Now, again, this is according to the people who are accusing her. So uh, you, you can't necessarily say that you think... You can't take it necessarily at its word because they're going to do everything they can to win their case. But it does appear that even though I'm all for everybody getting their fair day in court, it does appear that she may have been... Uh, at least knowledgeable of this and getting her information would be of utmost importance. But uh, anyway, here's the news on this. In a new court filing, prosecutors say that uh, Giselle Maxwell attempted to barricade herself in a conference room at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, she is posing a security threat. The socialite and a former madam for Jeffrey Epstein used a cart of legal documents, it says here, to stop guards from entering the room. Again, according to prosecutors, uh, Maxwell has been allowed to use the cart in the past, but uh, now has been banned from using it and is ordered instead to carry her legal materials by hand. If she needs other materials during a particular meeting with counsel, she may leave the VTC room and retrieve those materials by hand and then return them to her meeting with counsel. And prosecutors wrote, and that's a great sentence, prosecutors wrote in a letter to the New York Federal Court, um, the report is that she was uh, bl literally blocking uh, I'm locking the door. It does, oh, God, it's on Daily Mail. There'll be so many pop-ups, you can't read it. I read it earlier. Um, she's accused of pretty much barricading herself away. She is posed with a, a black eye. Let me see if I can find that real quick. There is a picture of her with a black eye to which she was alleging that she has been abused in jail. Now, again, she's not an idiot. She could have done it to herself. However, we do know that the Epstein, that the, with, with Jeffrey Epstein, the chances of him killing himself is roughly the same as the Taliban keeping their promise to treat women kindly as they've taken over the country. So that wasn't anything that we were able to particularly put any stock into. And 
I wouldn't be surprised if she did it to herself. I've heard it said. But here's why this matters. There's the picture. Here's why this matters. Whether she's guilty or not, if you allow prisoner abuse in the worst of the worst, and you get people acclimated to it, then slowly but surely it starts happening to the garden variety criminal, which is also bad. So um, I wanted to put that out there and just let you know what's being said, uh, the kinds of things which are being um, addressed by both her and the prosecutor. How much of this is real before she ends up hanging herself to it? Uh, will she really hang herself? That's the question of the day. To hang or not to hang, that is the question. There is a lot hanging on this, however, because there are people in very powerful positions. It is said all the way up to the throne of England. Very, very powerful people who are not happy at all with the attention that Miss Maxwell is getting. And the amount of information she has, which could point to some very nefarious people, even if she is 150% innocent, the amount of people which she can finger and say was here on this day, there on this day, here on this day, that information alone could be enough to make some serious heads roll. So, friends, let me know what you think in the comment line. Make sure you're listening on Opera News, and please get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com. Good night, friends. God bless.